Welcome back to our channel, The Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had every employee from the California Department of Correction, the Rehabilitation, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and have them smash you right now. Shout out to all the patrons. I love you. You're the heartbeat of this channel. Because of you, we keep going. But before I get started on this episode from hell, let me give a shout out to all the people that blessed me on yesterday's live. I love you guys. Mary. Nino America, shout out to you, go check them out, Pelon 1205, Michigan Wolverine, Scorpio Rising, Vladimir Taylor, Pedro, and the retired CO, you guys are a godsend and a blessing, with that, this episode right here, man, I'm fucking going to hell, I don't know, there should be limits to this, but there is no limits to this, well, there should be, but there isn't. out of the way my little counter whoa why is my counter doesn't matter governor issue statement on death of officer frank salas frank salas a correctional officer at st quentin rehabilitation center passed away may 12 2024 rest in peace may 12 today is may 17 2024, the time is approximately 0315 hours. So, a couple days ago. <sighs> on May 12th, Officer Salas succumbed to a medical emergency while on duty at San Quentin Rehabilitation Center. So, how does this happen, right? You have this OG prison guard, knuckle dragger, Frank Salas. They don't even make names like that anymore, man. He started in 1995, the good old days. He spent 29 years at the San Quentin Rehabilitation Center. How did this happen, right? How did this man die on the job? Well, let me tell you, man. You're to blame, California Department of Correction and Rehabilitation. You're to blame. Here's why. Imagine being an OG prison guard, man, working at San Quentin State Prison. You made it, man. You made it. You got a badge. You got a baton. And that's it. Not even then. You had a badge and a radio, period. Inmate pissed you off. You tuned him up like a motherfucking 1972 Chevy back in the day. Motherfucker, you got a problem with me? I got a problem with you. Let's take it into the cell. Let's take it to the bathroom. Let's take it to the supply closet. I don't know if San Quentin has supply closets, but you're getting my drift, right? The good old days, right? So over the fucking career of Mr. Salas, rest in peace, these are the changes that he saw, right? This had to affect his ticker. This had to affect his heart, right? Mother shows up to work one day, and uh, he sees. So how did this happen, you ask, man? Well, my boy Salas shows up to work one day, and he goes, hey, good morning, John. And all of a sudden, he's like, it's not John, it's Mandy. Mandy, what the fuck? Come on, man. Hey, it's woman to you. You got to understand, man, my boy Salas wasn't built like this. He wasn't raised like this, right? He, this is all new to him. So you can see, <laughs> oh, you can see how this could affect somebody's heart, right? So, and shout out to Mandy, man. I got nothing against Mandy. I see you, girl. Uh, next thing you know. Let me fucking hide the Patreons, man. There we go. Next thing you know, my boy uh, Salas, he's up in the tower, man. He's looking down. He's like, the fuck is that? Is that a fucking man bun? Nah. What the fuck? Hell nah. Whew. Right. And that's when the problems start. The problems didn't start with Mandy. The problem started with the man bun. Then he's like, is that a fucking chess game versus a CO versus an inmate? A convict? Oh, hell nah. You can see how the stress of the job, the unnecessary stress, right? The unnecessary stress, right? He was fine up until this point. I forgot to tell you. When Governor Newsom came down and changed the name to San Quentin State Prison, the San Quentin Rehabilitation Center, that didn't sit well with him either, right? It was just my hunch. He was probably like, oh. Nah, man. I, I know you guys are tracking, right? You guys are part of the Hector. This episode was not necessary. 
This episode was not warranted. <sighs> but you guys need to see. You guys need to see the stress of the fucking jobs, right? The unnecessary bullshit, right? So then my boy Salas is up in the tower, man. Next thing you know, he's like, oh, who's this fucking kid, man? This warden, man. Ah, damn, 1995. He had to 1995. That's when when I started the department. This kid, man, must have been shitting his diapers in 1995, right? Probably born in the year 1995. Now he's the warden of me, man. Ah, man, you can see it's he's it's fucking it is it is tragic, right? What's about to happen? Literally, the tragic ending, and you can see how this happened, Hector. That's not how it happened. Fuck, tell, I bounced. That shit was gonna happen to me. Right? I already had ED, erectile dysfunction. There was nothing ha- happening down there, right? I would blow on it. <sighs> try to like rub it like starting a fire nothing man nothing beat on it hey wake up wake up nothing like a little worm man nothing so yes working for the california department of correction the rehabilitation does take an effect on your health let me be the one to tell you so the final straw right (laughs) the final straw right death row inmates are being where are we at? Death row inmates are being transferred out of San Quentin Chino City officials sounding the alarm. You have my boy Salas, right? <sighs> you have my boy Salas, right? He's up in the tower, oldest tower at the oldest prison. He's always, all he's known is death row. He's known these convicts. They've been in death row forever. And they call him up on the phone. Hey, um. Hey, Salas, we're about to, uh, we're about to transport Ronnie. Where is Ronnie going? He's going to Sentinella. Ah, man, you, you youngsters are too crazy, man. You youngsters are wild. This is Salas. You guys are, you youngsters are wild, man. Uh, you, oh, man, I've heard some doozies in my time, but uh, nah, he hangs up the phone. Well, we're gonna, phone rings. Hey, we ain't playing, man. We ain't, what you mean you ain't playing? We ain't playing. Ronnie already transpacked. He's going to Sentinella. Nah, man, hey, you fucking pissing me off, man. Hey. Stop fucking calling me over here, man. I'm reading my newspaper. Sacramento B. Hangs up. Boom. Sergeant calls him. Sergeant was two years in the department, man. Salas could run circles around this guy and beat the fuck out of him, too. Hey. Dog gets disrespectful to Salas, man. Salas an OG in the tower, not wanting to bother nobody. Hey, man. Did the did the SNE call you? Yeah. What did he tell you? He's moving? Yeah, man. Uh, you wait, both of you in on this joke too, man? Fucking hangs up. Boom. Now they got the lieutenant with four years in the department calling. This is straight disrespecting Salas now, man. Fuck. Salas' day is ruined. His whole life is about to be ruined. No disrespect. So now you got R&R, transportation. You got the fuck inmate. Ayala, heavy hitter, on his way to Sentinella in the Sally Port. And they're like, Tower! Salas! Right, that's the CO at the bottom. Salas! Bubba opens his window, mad fuck. His whole life is mad now because you guys have fucking ruined his life, DCDCR. Right? He, what? 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 And we can see the fucking blood pressure building the veins the temples <sighs> hey we need you to open this gate we need to get through no 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 he's <laughs> he's a death row inmate he belongs here no hey salas relax bro don't tell me to relax Relax, motherfucker, just about, uh, you can see what's about to happen, right? You want to know how this happens? I've seen this a thousand times. (sighs) 
Salas, open the gate, man. Quit playing. <laughs> Quit playing, man. No! Over my dead body! <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm going to hell. I'm going to hell, man. I love you guys. Oh, fuck. I don't feel good after that one, right? <laughs> that? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. God, if I was wrong, let me know. If I was right, keep me on the right path, man. You know I was pretty close on the money, God. Ain't no motherfucker dies for no reason after 29 years on the job, man. If I was a family, I would sue. I would sue. Message of the day is think about what matters and what doesn't matter. Think about it, man. With that, this episode is sponsored by the following patrons. Chris Leniak, 602 These Nuts, Nisi B, I don't know, I'm not the regular, A La Verga 209, Brian the Special, the Semper Fidelis, we do as they tell us. Can you sign my 103? Frank, Mark, Darlene from Santa Ana, F your mandates, write me up. VSP Yeti, Sabatino, Add a Barrel Toe, Ken 84, Any Reason I Can't Hold You, Fontaine, Dixon McCrary, Nasty Nick the Corcoran, Atrocious, M Loc 87, Kevin, Program Time, Steve, Alex, Hey, I'm Just Medical, Brianna, Carnalito, Treatment Not Time, No Shirt, No shoes no day room enforced fit fishing is life don't take my blue card sergeant gg vini me la pela santa barbara county partner get my six and pop me back in don chicharo shut the f up and make it wink a la verga 760 scorpio rising miss rod geo g ride vote news come out the prison psychologist fuerte 84 <laughs> zeus michigan wolverines i have an eight hour chrono put me out six self elver galarga a wall like Monte, one bad yard pedal, Cherokee Cat, Loco Moco, the Big Bad Wolf, Raider 62, L. Eli, Gerardo, Steven, Rigo SD, Pelon, Eric, not on my watch, who's doing the pipe, Denise, The Real McCoy, Jay, a Pogan and six pack, CO, can I get a partial? Keith, Devil Dog, Ricardo, Maladjusted, Bankroll Suave, Carmine the Pitbull, American Mestizo, Lori, 559CO, Ruben, CJ Zavalda, EOP Whisper, F your 602, Las Vegas Side Slide, Viva Mexico, Cabrones, that's crazy, CO, these burritos taste just like my wife's. <laughs> Number one, number one, number one. That's crazy, CO. These burritos taste just like my wife's. Only, only in CDCR. Pre of these nuts, lockdown five, Crystal Bon La Reina, Mandatory Yard, get the fuck out. Winston, Tony, the Mexican Snowman, El Skid, the OG Hovi Cat, Lead with Love, Elber 12, I'm a level two dorm demon. Ciao! <laughs> J.I. Esquiel, Big Bad 48, Nova, Linda, the retired CO, Mikey 559, the homie Marius, Chevelle 66, Crispy Nuts, Bad Karma, and the homie Rags. If you have not already signed up for the Patreon, this might be the only way we can communicate in the next coming, coming months. With that, I love you. Make sure you hit that link in the description below. You're definitely missing out. Keep pushing forward.